Some call him a humble and honorable young man. To others, he's much more than that. 23-year-old Eric Peters is walking from New Jersey to California to raise awareness of PTSD. Today, he stopped in Pendleton, Indiana to visit with other former veterans and their families. Uh, this is George Price, and I'm at Falls Park here in Pendleton, Indiana. I'm with Mr. Eric Peters, who's on a mission. Um, tell us about it. The mission I'm doing is I'm walking across America for PTSD and TBI, uh, raising awareness and donations for the vets with PTSD. The thing I'm doing is basically bringing every community I can get my hands on and a gra like a, gra uh, a grab around. I will use the resources just to bring, you know, maybe five, ten people together to understand or have an idea of what we're going through. You started out in New Jersey. When did you start? June 20. Okay. And you're going to finish? Uh, I don't have a time limit to finish, <laughs> but I will say I will do my best to get it done as quickly as possible. You're going to finish where? Santa Monica, California. Santa Monica, California. Well, you've talked to a lot of veterans as you crossed the, uh, the states. What have you heard uh, about uh, what's going on with this from them? It's not something that you know, they want in their lives. I mean, but we can't change it. We can only make it to the point where we can adapt to it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, adapt and overcome. That's what it comes down to. You know, if I found a cure for PTSD, I'd waste a million dollars right off the bat. Yeah, that's terrific. So, you do have a, a fundraiser on where? GoFundMe.com. Uh, and how can they find out? Uh, on the search bar, you have to search for No Veteran Walks Alone. Okay. And okay. then when you search that, uh, you'll see me in a camouflage uniform with my two thumbs in the air. And they can give whatever they want to give. Uh, the, the state of Veterans Affairs in the United States has not been really good. There's been a lot of news about veterans not getting care. Uh, are you hearing much about that? Yes, sir. It's the VA scandal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're, they're a piece of work. Yeah. You know, if, if they want to set things right, take care of the veterans that need it. Okay. You know, don't make up excuses. Okay. We've seen in the past year that how many raises have they gotten? Mm -hmm. Where are you getting the money if America is going downhill? Yeah. You know, if they know. I just leave it at that. Yeah. But yeah. it's not, not a topic I'm very happy about. But there's people, if there's more people out there like myself and you know, Patriot Guards, motorcycle clubs that will help veterans, yeah. you know, we're, we're going to change it. Yeah. So. Now, you used in the 101st Airborne. Yes, sir. And you was where? Uh, 2nd through 20th Field Artillery Regiment. Mm -hmm. As in, oh, you mean uh, deployment wise? Okay. That's Afghanistan. Okay. And you received the Purple Heart? Yes, sir. From a wound? Yes, sir. Yeah. And uh, can you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, I was in Afghanistan. I was doing an ECP, which is Entry Control Point. Um, we basically blocked the Afghans from coming into a, a different side of the FOB where we maintained all of our soldiers inside that area. We have to check them, IDs check out. Um, if there are uh, mil militants, then all the ammunition is taken out. Only because we didn't, we know what the green and blue uh, terror was, and we didn't want that to happen to us. So it was our way or the highway. If we left them out there, they would have been shot and just basically ran down. So yeah. came out and doing our thing. Seven o'clock, seven fifteen hits, you know, and yeah. boom, 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 boom. Yeah. You know, it blows us up. Just, so. just that quick. Yeah. Uh, is there any way people can follow you across? Uh, yes. As you as you travel. Yes. There's uh, Facebook. If you look up No Veteran Walks Alone, okay. also, if you look up Veterans Don't Stand Alone, that's where you can find those two uh, page and group. And you can follow my journey, you can add into the conversation. You know, if you know anyone who have resources to help out, you know, let's make the change happen and change our statistic. Okay. All right. And they can find out more about the funding on that too, on the Facebook? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. All the way. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, sir. You can follow Eric's journey across America on his Facebook page. There is also information there about how you can help. 
We'll put all those links below.